I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Okay, Vito. Now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Dad. You know, this whole thing got... Complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath, you put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. A few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. And I'm gonna go someplace warm. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure, Carlo wants me dead, and sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, and all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. That was my choice, Leo. All you did was speed things up a little. Besides, what the hell else was I gonna do? Go work on the docks like my old man? All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man.
Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, why? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he, does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? Tell me what you need. Hey, you looking for a 
a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. Thanks, Vito. Appreciate the business. probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you, you stay away from us, you understand? Just, just stay away. <laughs> Watch the place! Do it! No! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! Oh. 